When I was pregnant with Stella, I just had an intuition that maybe something wasn't quite right. When she was born, um, she was a healthy nine pound, 12 ounce baby girl um, a week early. And um, she had a vascular disease right at birth that we were a little bit concerned about. But the spinal muscular atrophy didn't really show until she was a month old. I went to give her a bath and she suddenly was very floppy. Her arms were floppy. It was just um, a very fast, huge regression from just days before and we rushed her into her primary doctor. It was very shocking. We didn't know what was going on. We went to some local hospitals and got some blood work done and then we were just completely blindsided um, with the word spinal muscular atrophy. At just one month of age, they said that she was the most severe child with spinal muscular atrophy that they had seen and um, they usually gave parents months to a year as a prognosis, but they actually told us weeks or months. That was very difficult to go home with that prognosis. And we said, you know, is there absolutely anything we can do? We were just willing to do anything. Is there any sort of therapy or machines? They sent us home with nothing. They said, you know, according to the textbook, there's nothing to do. This is our advice. Just take her home and love her. I remember when we were sitting there rocking her and trying to digest everything that they had just said. Um, we looked down at her as we were crying and looking at her and she just looked at us with the most perplexed look as if, you know, are you giving up on me? And I think it was from that moment on that Travis and I both, I mean, we just saw it in her eyes that she was telling us not to give up on her. We just started researching different things that we could do for her and trying to pull at any straw um, just to give her any sort of chance. and. Uh, when we were looking at different hospitals, we landed on University of Iowa Children's Hospital. We've always heard and understood is the University of Iowa is willing to take on special cases and uh, willing to go above and beyond, I guess, what might be printed in a textbook. We had never heard of SMA. Mm -hmm. um, our local doctors had never heard of SMA. And so we, we knew we were dealing with something very unique. We just felt that the pulmonary team, which was her number one team, and the other teams involved could give her the best chance at survival. And so we were willing to try and they were willing to try and it was a great match for us. That was just amazing. It was the first glimpse of hope that we really had um, in terms of finding someone that could help us to help her. So she's had all of her surgeries and any sorts of treatment done here at the University of Iowa from getting a G-tube to having spinal fusion. So we've been very happy with um, the 10 departments that we have seen here at the University of Iowa. The biggest things that we've done for Stella in terms of uh, uh, helping her have a better quality of life is to help her with ventilation and the ability to clear secretions from her lungs. She used to be ventilated non-invasively using masks like they use for obstructive sleep apnea, but eventually she needed to have a uh, tracheostomy where she's uh, breathing through a tube going to her neck. And she's done amazingly well and almost hasn't been in the hospital since she's had that. She's been very stable and uh, has been ventilating well and has been able to handle even minor, minor illnesses fairly well without needing to come in. To me, the University of Iowa Children's Hospital means um, just cutting edge, think outside the box type of care. And when you're dealing with a disease like spinal muscular atrophy, that's exactly the type of care that you need. For the U of I Children's Hospital staff, I would just like to say a big thank you uh, for everything that you've done and, and for being a part of our life and our journey with Stella. Together, um, you know, we're, we're rewriting the textbooks and uh, a lot of that has to do with um, you know, Sarah and I's commitment, but it also has to do with being surrounded by a staff that's willing to go above and beyond, think outside the box, and uh, as a result, you know, we have a beautiful little girl uh, that's going to school that has friends just like other six-year-olds. We've got high goals for her, and, and we're gonna need to continue that care, and, and we're gonna be doing that here at the U of I Children's Hospital. We expect to, to have Stella for a long, long time, and we're gonna do things with Stella that nobody else thought was possible.